Hello everyone. Welcome to our online classroom. I am Ms. N. Kaluna. Today we will discuss the second chapter of computer parts of a computer. We know that in a human body there is a different organ like eyes to see, ear to hear, hand to pick the object and the legs to walk. Each organ has a different function. In a similar way, computer has a different parts and all the parts have a different function. So today we will discuss the part of a computer. There is a basically four main parts of the computer. Monitor, CPU, keyboard and mouse. Now let us discuss about them. Computer has four different parts. Monitor, keyboard, mouse and CPU. Now let us discuss about monitor. Monitor is just like a television screen. It displays what we are doing on the computer. It is also called visual display unit in short VDU. Next is keyboard. It has many buttons called keys. It is used to type number, letters and other symbol. The next one is mouse. Mouse is a pointing device. It is used to point and select the things on the computer. The next one is CPU. CPU is the brain of the computer. It processes the instruction and gives us the result. Like our brain operates our body, in a similar way CPU operates the computer. The another one important part of the computer is printer. It is used to print the things on the paper. Speaker Speaker are used to help us hear the sound. Headphone Headphone are used to listen the music without disturbing others. UPS UPS is the machine that keeps the computer working sometimes when the electricity goes off. Now we will see the input process output. In this picture we can see that the, cam the camera is capturing the picture so camera is an input device. When it clicks the picture it goes to the monitor and it will process. After that it will goes to the printer and it print that picture. So camera is an input device and output device is the printer. Now we will see what is input devices and what are the output devices. Input devices. Input devices are used to give the commands to the computer. Now we can see the different type of input devices like scanner, microphone, camera, touch screen, output devices. Output devices are used to display the results. There are so many output devices like monitor, headphone, speaker, printer, projector. Now we will see the process of starting on and switching off the computer. There is a process to start a computer. It's called booting and the process to Switching off the computer is called shutting down. Now we will see how to start a computer. 
The first step to start a computer is switch on the power supply. As we can see in this picture that a little girl is switching on the power supply. The second step is to switch on the UPS. Now we have to switch on the UPS. The third step is to power on the CPU. When we click on a power button on the CPU, it displays a green light and a beep sound. After that, we have to switch on the monitor. So when we press the monitor button, it will take few times and after that the monitor screen on and we can see that our computer is start working. Now we will learn how to shut down a computer. To shut down a computer, there is a two step. The step one is click to start button and step two is click to shut down. In few seconds, the monitor display goes off and after that, the monitor, UPS and power supply is also we have to switch off. So in this class, we will learn about part of the computer, what are the input output process, how it works, what are the input devices, storage devices, output devices and in the last, how to switch on the computer and how to switch off the computer. Hope you will understand this topic. Thank you.